My name is Markus Greiner and I'm a physicist uh, working with ultra-cold atoms and extremely low temperatures. What inspired me for this research was that with these cold atoms you can now really create new states of matter. It's actually quite amazing, these temperatures, if you have a thermometer that reaches from here to the moon, then the temperatures we achieve are about the width of a hair away from absolute zero temperature, like as cold as it gets. And this is, to our knowledge, the coldest temperature in the universe. You might think that at these cold temperatures, all the particles are at standstill, but that's not the case. What happens is that quantum mechanics takes over with all its weirdness and um, amazing um, effects. That's when things become interesting and exciting. So it's really this quantum weirdness happening at these cold temperatures. Mm -hmm. That's the 1D trap? Mm -hmm. With our quantum gas microscope, it's really amazing if you think that you can see the individual atoms here. You can follow all the individual atoms and, and even make a movie of these little atoms hopping around. Yes, like a, a oh, small... Okay, so this is where they cross? Yeah. We capture these ultra-cold atoms here with laser light. So we use these laser beams to actually slow down the atoms and they uh, then reach these cold temperatures. We can, we can trap them in a light beam, we can move them around. And we do this by loading the atoms into an artificial crystal that is formed by light, by laser light. In this crystal we can try out new, new ideas and see what new states of matter we can create. And with the ultra-cold atoms, we could gain new insights that ultimately could lead to new materials with properties that we can't even imagine yet. With ultra-cold atoms, it might also be possible to create a quantum computer in the long run because you can also use all these individual atoms as little qubits, as little quantum bits. I feel really honored to receive the MacArthur Fellowship and um, it, um, it's really very exciting and I hope that the recognition that goes along with this fellowship might also motivate other people and my students uh, to follow along this exciting path uh, that we take in this research.